this right before the major. Yeah, not a bad time at all. We're going to start out right on Vertigo with what well, we start on the T side. Virtus Pro on the CT side. A little bit of a almost trying to catch a player at that corner, but they didn't commit to it. And I'm kind of happy to see that. Although Alex, I say that, he is fully committed. Mopo is going to be taking out one. Alex with a follow-up kill on Sanji. And Deaths will take down Kicker. So this is starting out incredibly well for the T side. James is running out of bullets. And he will be shut down. What a flawless victory here at the A-bomb side. That was incredibly quick. Running up the short side. We see that VP tried to push towards the ramp. Doesn't quite work out for them. Buster left in the one on five. And Vertigo. A great pick for Movistar. It's a map that they generally rely on. It's a comfort for them. And it's a map that has has done them well lately. There's no reason they shouldn't be going for this. But VP, they're not a team that is shy of playing this. Buster, he will be hunted down now. Are a team that is peaking at the right time, qualifying for the major. Certainly a dark horse in this side of the bracket, aren't they? If they can make it through, that would be that would be really really impressive. Probably outshined by names like Liquid and OG and and all the rest of them. G2 out there. So. Um, yeah, maybe they can fly under the radar. That might even be an advantage at this point in time. If people just aren't going to be paying attention. We'll find out. A couple of Mac 10s, an AK and a Galil. On the side of... We agreed on Davy G, right? Davy G. Davy G. Davy G. I believe that's how it's done. Mobos coming into it with, well, an attempted run. And it's only a Mac 10 that they surrender. And I don't know if they realized how many people were there. But they certainly seem very careful right now. They're going to be trying to fall back. So... Giving up a Mac 10? Is that a big deal, do you think? Is that gonna be fine? Shouldn't be. They still have a smoke. They can slow down this retake. Maybe the Mac 10 can collect a frag. Get some extra cash on the board. VP. Oh, that timing right there almost not working out for Sun Payas. But either way, yeah, this is gonna be pretty clean for the Movistar side. No investment from VP though. So they'll be buying into the next, or so they could, a bombsite and walk away from it. And there's no one even there. <laughs> and they look so ridiculous. But yeah. we can talk more about that later. First gun round here for VP. Jane with the A1S, and he's supported by Sanji, who, in a rare instance, has a rifle, and he gets a three-piece with him. It's very well done, just hiding by the sandbags. I actually kind of like that from uh, from Movistar, the, the idea of trying to be that quick in the middle, because sometimes the middle is really overlooked on this map on the T side. People don't really go for it. So doing that in the first rifle round and just trying to get in there and bully them away, unfortunately, there was a double setup waiting for them and they just got completely shut down. But I think the idea of the call is still kind of interesting. Deaths is now on his own. Could still do some great damage in this round with the with the AK if he could find a some kind of a battle here that would still be quite helpful. But... It's a really good start for uh, for VP, nonetheless. He's taking his time. He really wishes that they would come look for him. VP don't strike me like the sort of team that would make that mistake, though, a lot of the time. They, I mean, we just said it. They're kind of slow. They're kind of careful. Probably not going to give you a lot of random fights here. Oh. oh, wow, deaths. He's making a case for himself here. Yeah, in a big way. And I think, yep, Jameis is a little bit too far away. He fakes it once. He almost could have had Sanji there. He's going to go for it. Still has about 30 seconds, so he actually can spend this time. Especially because he could just go to the A-bomb site, and that would throw Jame really off. Sanji is thinking about it. He's not quite sure. He's actually looking the right way. Death's walking into it. He's got all the health in the world, but he will survive. Either way, Movistar will get the op on his son Payas, his signature weapon, and he has been the top performer for Movistar in the last few months. Hard to see anything through that scope with all the smoke down on the ramp. So that does put, <laughs> put a limit to the efficacy of it. But it's also kind of powerful, of course, if you're playing on the same ramp, isn't it? Yes. We see that Alex is boosted over. He has some eyes towards the top. VP just going for the re-smoke. They will go for the contest now. Ooh, Sanji recognizes that there's a gap in the smoke. And he doesn't want to keep playing with that. The Kinder shows a toe. And Alex reveals that they had assembled the boost. Flash in hand there from, uh, or maybe just, uh, not sure. Davy G coming up with a good kill, taking down Kicker. Yukinda is back, and the flash comes in from James. So it was a flash that he was holding there. Good double kill for Yukinda, but still a three on three. 50 seconds on the clock. 
Death walking in to check out the middle. Going to be up against that Famasa on the other side. Could be a pretty favorable fight. I mean, probably still should have been, but Buster is so quick with the headshot. Buster looking incredibly sharp, but Movistar are speeding up towards B. They throw a right side generator smoke. That'll allow them safe passage onto the site. Mopo's getting aggressive into it, though. Oh, he's going to push right in. Oh, he has to find a one way. Takes down Sanji. That's a big kill to find. Now the situation is evened up. Great playmaking ability there on, on Mopo's. That's hard to do. And he's going to find another kill the exact same way. Jame, did he not see it? He surely would have. It looked like that was just going to be there, but they don't know that he's there. No he doesn't way. fire the gun. He's waiting for it. Goes back to check. He sees one. He spins around. And what a play for Jame. The trigger is but it pays off right there. That is incredible for VP. Felt like they <laughs> <laughs> he's just drinking tea after it all. Hmm. That's how he celebrates. James, I don't think James BPM has deviated more than five yeah. per minute in the past year. He's always in control of the situation. Wow, this is just so well put together and so unfortunate for Mopos. Just jumps right over him. We're going to need a... Early contest here towards ramp. Yakinder takes down Davi G. He's going to be happy about that. Yakinder, definitely the opening fragger for VP in many different circumstances. Always in the fray early on in rounds. Yeah, it's re I, I mean, one of the good reasons why you you could be a fan of a VP is probably Yakinder all, all on his own, right? Definitely for watching him play. Mobos again finding frags on top of it. He's gonna spray them both down. What I an mean, absolutely crazy play. I don't think I've ever seen that smoke used for that purpose ever before. Kick it comes through with a kill there. Taking down Sunpeus. Still a two on three. The bomb is gonna be planted, but I don't think they can easily escape. That's the problem. Alex gonna get shot in the back by Buster and it leaves deaths on his own. One versus three with a Mac 10. It's not a bad kill. Almost doing the damage there, but he probably would have been traded either way. Mopos, though, that's actually crazy. Mopos is finding a lot of value on top of it. Pretty hodgepodge buy. Let's see if they're able to find anything. Appreciate the variety of defaults that Movistar have been throwing out here, though. Sometimes two underneath B. And Mopos, along with Alex, take down Buster. Finding more value. You know, he did take a lot of damage getting into that fight, but it's still obviously worth it. And look at the adjustment for, for VP. They kind of call an early B rotation immediately, leaving Iki Kinda, and he's pushed down. This is, I mean, if he can stay here and just make sure that they're not going to the A bomb site, this could actually be a round win for VP. It's a ton of information that he's holding on to. James got a great off angle, and it does feel like Movistar are losing grasp on what's happening on every other side of the map other than B. If they don't know that they're being read this much, in their own minds, they're thinking, well, this is brilliant. We're setting up a huge execute into the B bomb site. They'll never know. And in fact, they are well aware. Kickit and James starting off the whole battle here with a couple of kills. You kinned up. He's walked up right behind them, and they don't even realize yet. They're going to find out in a couple of seconds. Again, the trigger discipline is absolutely admirable, and he's only going to get the one kill, but still, that does blow up the strategy quite a bit now. They know that they were red that whole time. 30 seconds on the clock. They could bring the bomb back to him. I mean, this is such a small map in that way. But James, I think he must have heard the step underneath him there. Yeah, they both know, I think. Yeah, Deaths has to make a huge distraction here. I don't even think it will pull James because James already heard what has been going on towards A. But Deaths, he's looking for something. Okay, he takes down Kicker. But James is right here. And Alex, he just simply doesn't have time now. But he had to push. James takes him down anyways. And Deaths jig is up. And it is four in a row for, for VP. A pretty convincing start, at least. Early chip damage. Mopos again finds an opener. He's he's doing very well in these B defaults. And that is something that Movistar are definitely loving. He has been a strategic luxury in his impact and what he is finding there. So now Yakinder looking for some spam, not able to connect with anything. Oh, the, the P comes out from Davi G, and Jane can't find the trade. This is getting really bad for VP very quickly. Yep, he wanted to throw down that monitor. Oh, 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 the jump up and the no scope. He actually gets the kill on Mopos. I think that was the right move, though, for, for Movistar. They knew they had the AWP locked into that corner. Davi G will take down Sanji. 
And now it's all on Kickered. One versus three, and he's gonna be need. Wow. They win four in a row, BP. And as soon as they lose, they're back to pistols. Says something about the kind of wins that they were. It wasn't maybe immediately obvious, but some close rounds. Yeah, the most that BP kept alive in any of those victories was, was two. Not enough, no. in other words. Bomb is going to be going down to the B bomb site because everyone else was stacked over on A. I don't. Right, yeah. No comment on that. It's fine. Got to got to try something, right? Yes. BP will almost always try to carve out a win condition in rounds like these, even if it's risky, even if it's low percentage. It's always giving themselves a chance. It's, it's rarely ever you'll just see in a full pistol kind of round like this that they will go for a two-one-two default. They always want to have a trick up their sleeve, or maybe even just save one gun from the previous that they'll boost up. They, they try to find the most mileage that they can with the tools at their disposal. You know, the whole theory around having a lot of hours in the game obviously makes a difference. Just the one gun. Kicker dropping that to him. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is, this is kind of what I'm talking about. VP, they always, even though they wanted to go for a save here, they still try to find some win condition in the round, and it's... It's going to maybe surprise Movistar. Once they see a couple pistols, they might doubt the presence of an op. James walked into middle with it. Scoped up, it looked like quite a while before he even got there. But doesn't want to turn the corner even further. If this continues to just lean towards the A-bomb site, I don't know if you can, could do much to hold on to it here with the Deagle. It's going to be really tough. James? I don't know. Walking around, trying to find the right position. It can be very hard. A bit of a coin flip in that particular case. They're pushing down B-Ramp, actually, now. So now, yeah, they have a good read of it. Good kill on Mopos. Good damage coming out now. Davy G taking a little bit there from the Deagle. Going to try and fall back with Jame. Oh, Looks like he wanted the boost. All right. Slowing it down now on the T-side. Go for the bomb plant while those smokes are still up. And that should tilt the round in their favor, you have to assume. No diffuse kit or anything. Very hard to break through the wall of smokes here. They have two smokes of their own, though, VP. They could make this hairy. I have to go for 10 second defuse inside. I mean, maybe they can force the battle, though. That's always fun to do that. Smoke is up. Buster is uh, walking in from behind if he can. Alex, some blind shots. Buster and Yukinda getting a kill each. Not bad. It's Sanpeyas coming up with a kill on Kicker. That bomb, though. And again, the 10 second defuse it is just so long. Knives oh. are out. He almost what? has it. But that knife needed to be a bit longer. It's oh. going to be the foot out. But at the very end, he full commits to it, defends the defuse, and that's everything. Mopos is back for revenge. He's been very good at getting a lot of entries everywhere, it seems. Grenade flipping the cone, but imperfectly. Cone flipping is an art. You can make them flip back so they stand up again. Extra points. Some people a little too good at the water bottle flips, I will say. I, th I think teams should practice the cone flipping. I, th I think it makes a difference. I'm superstitious like that. You know? That's what I spend my time on. Uh, Offline. Cone flip. Flipping cones on. Where to go? The theory crafting the perfect cone flip to create new angles. Two cones and one nade. That's that kind of stuff. Yeah. Can get real competitive, even if I'm the only one competing. So, okay. Yakinder, if he jumps, he, he might get taken out. Sunpayan is holding right above him. Oh, does he spot this? No, not quite. He's gonna hear the steps behind him though. Tempting to throw out a bunch of nades, but he doesn't have any, so gonna rely on the M4 instead to take down Mobos, who has been unafraid to initiate any of these battles, and for good reason. Kinda though wants to try and see if he can get the jump on them here. He's gonna catch Davy G, and that's a lot of output from him in the round. Still sticking around and just trying to be really hard to catch. That's a third kill and very nearly a fourth. You kinda having a lot of value in this round. Just outworked them in that. That whole situation finds one on the ramp, moves to find two towards short. There's not a lot you can do when you're Movistar, and he's playing that well. It, it's sim it's simply hard to take space because Yakinder will always fight you for every inch. 
Just that's hands. you could probably replay some of those rounds at you know 500% slow motion or something and and just sort of do like a highlight every time your Kindar is actually the one taking the initiative and then like because the one player that's trying to get him is obviously thinking well I'm I'm in charge I'm the one to take the initiative but if he takes it back from them then that's hard to deal with right um it's I guess it's a hard thing to measure initiative in this sense, but yes. but when you if you really look for it, especially in slow motion, you'd be able to see it for sure. Yes, you'll almost never catch a kinder taking a fight by standing stationary unless he's yeah. on an insane off angle. Yeah, very hard to deal with. They've lost mopos again, but I it's just I mean they only have pistols this time still, but um, it's hard to blame. <laughs> it's dangerous. Hard to blame someone who's been that successful in finding openings for trying to do it more. Bit of a team kill in there, but they also got kicked, so fair enough, fair enough. Whatever. Yukinder slots himself towards the sandbags. They don't have a Molotov, Movistar. They can't get him out of this. He may have an inclination. He might know. Oh, if any time now he swings, this is free. Sunpei is actually revealing the AWP. Gonna get found and a good little double there. Spotting out Alex. Yeah, any time would have probably done it. Seven to four. Movistar have yet another buy, but an early contest towards middle. Sanji jumping across to be the bait, and James is now posted up on this deep angle. Yeah, but that's really aggressive. You talked about the different defaults that they had tried to run here on the Movistar side, but I mean, VP's defense is also really mixed. It's not just the same thing over and over again. You cannot take it down Davy G, that's unfortunate. And look at what, it, look at how aggressive they are in the middle still. Yeah, but after that opening pick, they fall off for the most part. James still holds an off angle towards middle, but it doesn't look like there will be a strong contest in his direction. Mopos, though, the guy that generally has to do a lot of heavy lifting for Movistar, considers a B push, but it's not to be. It will, in fact, be the concentrated A ramp take. See how telegraphed this is going to be. They do have, what, a smoke and two Molotovs and some flashbangs, so they can't really build the wall that they would normally want to on that A bomb site in terms of smokes to get the bomb down. Could be a bit sketchy. Now there's three people here. Orp to cover two of them. This could be a really ugly surprise if they swing for this corner and they run into the AWP and a couple of rifles. That might not work out so well. In fact, they're going to get jumped before they even get to do it. Kick it coming in with a kill, taking down Sanpeus, and now it is a two versus four here. A good kill for Mopos, but standing on top of the fire, he almost goes down behind him. 15 seconds on the clock, and they need to get this bomb plant down. They almost could have had it, but the flank is walking up behind him. It's Sanji with an AK, and that's going to be a lot of trouble here. Dropping the bomb before it got planted, and Mopos is going to go go for he, he says, why not? You, you're, you might lose sometimes if you're just sitting back. That is something they live and die by. I mean, they kind of, it, had it not been for Sanji, they could have actually lost that 2v2 at the bomb side, right? If Sanji had been rotating through the center of the map in a, in a regular fashion, maybe they would have been just missing out on that. A couple of Tech 9s, a Mac 10, P250 there in play. Kindar trying to take that fight and nearly getting the double for it. Certainly setting up for Sanji to get that kill. So still favoring the VP side here in the 13th round. And Movistar are fairly choked out of this. They don't even have any more utility to work around. So it will have to be pretty incredible overperformance from their players to find any in. We see Sanji juggling the guns back to make sure that Movistar can't pick up an easy rifle, but that does give them a timing. They made their way up short and they are rather close to the site. Single smoke to make the jump across. Not over committing to stop that plant either, VP. Just trying to make sure that they keep their cool. Interesting boost to look over the Tech 9. He's ready for it. Yeah, that catches Sanji off guard. That's very creative coming out here. Moko is able to get the kill. Looks like there is another flank also coming into place. So we'll see how that's going to be working out again. They have some time here. Tagged through the box on Mopo, so he's low on health, but they're all the way back at the ramp as well. So how long before that flank actually comes in is the question now. Looks like they just didn't even go for it. Kick it is going to be going down this. Buster is very, very late. They're going to get the kills, but man, they did not have... Oh, 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 oh no. no. Oh. I'm sure they could have held it. Oh, man. Oh, no. 
surely we we can have the we can have the I don't know, the math people, someone bring out a calculator or something. I don't know. Get a stopwatch. Exactly. Oh, wow. Well, they are back in the mix after losing that round somewhat painfully. A couple of kills to open this one up with. The kid are still jumping around out here. Probably doesn't need to. Could play it a bit safer. He will, finally. Backs off once again. Five on three. Moby Star, they're still inclined to challenge A, but Yukinder has a great angle. He's been so dominant in this position, and the flash will make his job incredibly easy. Is he going for more? Of course he is. A second, and now Sun pay us one versus five. This economy is not looking good for Movistar. It'd be great to save this op moving forward, but look at where Yukinder is already. Okay, Sun pay us reads it. That's a very good read, but, but it still says something about his play style. I just relentlessly looking for the next opening and the next one after that. Very hard to keep contained. There's a one versus five. He's got the one kill. Four more to go. The math is easy. Into the 15th round. Attempted shot there early on. Mopos get the tag. Now the Molotovs are raining down. Davy G also. Down a 50... 50 points of health. Still Sanji looking into the middle, expecting the boost, reading it quite well, but not able to get the headshot. Nice, nice little nade too. VP are getting in some good early damage. Buster though, taking some liberties with this peak. He seems to recognize this. Wow, what, what an angle to hold for Buster. <laughs> he really, really believed that Mopos was there and he was correct in his assumption. Now Alex, he can't find the trade. And Kicker he still plays close. I mean, Movistar right now, they, they've lost control of B main. They, they really need VP to gift them something. Yeah, not many chances. Sanji, you could tell, sees the fight there, but not going to try and take it. Even Yekindar is he's sort of cooled off for, for the minute, not looking for anything more. 40 seconds on the clock. Oh, wow. Unbelievable timing. He just held it. Kicker's walking in behind. That almost seems unfair. There's, there's not a lot you can do about that. He, he's going to know. They're going to realize, man, he must have walked out the second we turned the corner. I don't even know what to say about that. And now your kind is out on the hunt for another double kill. Yeah. Their timings were great. Yeah. The early aggression was excellent. We'll see if they keep up that sort of pace on the T side. I have to guess no, though. VP, just characteristically one of the slowest T-side teams. Infamously so. Yeah. Can be very hard to play against when almost every other team is not playing this way. Kind of get used to something else. And we'll see what they do. Mobo is, is alone at the A bomb site, peeking down the ramp. It allows for them to have a massive stack at the B bomb site. So, VP, if they follow through, then they could be in a little bit of trouble here. Molotov smokes are down. There's Alex with a good opening. Death is running in to fight them, even at the ramp. And actually, Kicker going to get the kill. And now the question is, well, yeah, VP, sort of a classic drawback, just falling back and waiting for him. They have over a minute, so why not? Yeah, and James taking some space towards A right now. We see that Mopos is here to meet him. This duel is going to mean a lot. Oh, and Jame takes down Mopos. That's all the space now in control of VP. They can plant the bomb at A. Can Jame cut off the rotations? He throws a smoke to stop these oncoming CTs. And now they have to approach from the heaven side. Yeah, see if they can get a quick shot on someone here. It's Jame with a kill on Dami G, and he'll follow it up. What a nice triple in this round. Obviously, the first one is the high-impact one, opening up the bomb site. Sun Payas on his own one versus four, and they don't need to peek him right now. If they went for a fight like that at the angle, maybe that's different. There's a kit right in front of him, but yeah, he has to go deep to even find these players, and now they're going to swarm him. He's running out of bullets pretty quickly, and he'll go down. Jane with a quad kill at the end of it. That is a high-impact round. Players, most teams commit towards their pistol exec, not VP. Uh, yep, and especially when that pistol exec involves a smoke and two molotovs and a flashbang. You, you feel like you put so much value into that B bomb site, you probably want to follow it up. But as soon as they realize, no, wait a minute, they just, they back it out. And the equipment value is lost, but then again, they get that position on Jame, and that's all they needed. Mopos, that probably could have been a kill right then and there. 
was close. James lucky to be alive. And it, it, VP are sensing that there's a lot of presence at A. Kicker still remains. He takes down Sun Payas and Mopos. How much can he find? Looking for a third, but Davi G takes him down. But that just means that the B bomb site is ripe for the taking. VP all over it. Buster's close, but he only has 11 HP. If there's any in on this, he would have to perish. But that's what a shot. Oh no, Alex pushing on forward too and finds Jame as well. Just Sanji now in the one versus two. This round has turned on its head in a split second, but Sanji, he's trying to bring it back. Alex doesn't have a kit, but does Sanji know? It does seem like he has a beat on this. Alex is approaching, but every second moving away from him. Oh, Sanji put- Tell that he wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the crosshair placement was ideal for that final engagement. The, the time was not going to be too favorable either. Mopos, though, pushes on forward, but it's, it's just pistols. Yakinder takes down that ramp player immediately. Yeah, that was a that was a real tricky one. I mean, Movistar definitely overperforming with those pistols on that retake. That that just came out of absolutely nowhere. James made his way way in behind enemy lines. Is this art? <laughs> I could might just might as well have been. <laughs> Except for the fact that he's walking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just running. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah. It doesn't really matter where he goes. He's probably gonna win the round no matter what. Question is if it's by a you know single kill or multi-kill spray down. We'll see. They're moving back and actually he's just gonna catch the rotations. So, yep, they're just gonna be walking through. Quick kill on that one. And now running in. There's someone waiting for him, but it doesn't even matter. Um, Jame is doing an enormous amount of work in this uh, in this series so far. He only has six deaths on top of that. I mean, I mean, and it's not even necessarily because he's been saving. That's usually how you see these James scorelines come about. A lot of saves, a lot of times where he's not attempting rounds that people think maybe he should. But I, I would not... Solid lead for VP right now. Finally, some money on the side of Movistar. They have got the AWP on San Payas and M4s on the rest. Kicker's gonna be walking in and Mopo's just not ready for it. And he was the only one there. So that is a rough loss. And it's so early on. And you know, VB, they like to spend that time. So this just goes into their playbook now. Right, this round is not ending anytime soon. No. Despite that opening frag. Not when VP is in the server. Buster still will survey the situation at B. This is a nice crossfire from Movistar. But Buster takes down Alex, peeking just wide enough so that player on top couldn't spot him. Oh, That's fine. I guess the trade. And okay, Sun Payas finds Sanji as well. And this this is the kind of round where people are critical of VP, where they have a man advantage, but they still want to feel everything out and they get caught for it. Yeah, you, I mean, you, especially in the middle, right? You see, oh, wait a minute. They almost could have lined up. That could have been so dangerous. Good shot. Sun Payas actually doing a lot of work here. But the first kill that he got was so slow, right? He's just sort of walking into the middle. But then again, the other time when Jane was walking into the middle, not that it was him this time, but he just walked in behind them and, and found a, an entire back line to shoot them from. So it is hard to criticize them for, but you're right, when it doesn't work out, it does look a little bit funny. Still 25 seconds here for Jame, one versus three, but really more like a one versus one isolated. If he can win that fight and get the bomb down, it's doable, it can be done. Death is up here. Now, if he just stays alive and doesn't actually show himself, yeah, that's all he needed. Just that moment. Don't try and go for it. It's not worth it. And James is going to be... Right. It, I mean, every every new piece of information will... Exp oh, 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 okay. Buster is sent home. That is a really cool play. I going to say, every time you try to get a new piece of information, you expose yourself to a little bit of risk every time, right? And when it... when when you don't have to pay that, then it's fine. But every once in a while, you're gonna get called on it. That was a really cool play. Inside of the smoke, though, you can not... I think it was his 21st kill, so he's doing very well at the moment. Picking up Alex. We'll see how VP want to put this one together, though. Four on four, Sun Payas, who started the round by jumping down at B main, is now all the way here at short. Not sure if Kicker will expect that, but he holds his ground. And VP, they want to retake this space towards B. Now that Sun Payas has moved away, he knows he needs to find something for his team. Just taking a slightly more aggressive angle. Mopos and Sun Payas trying to pinch this spot. But Kicker, there's a, there's a possibility he's able to find something. And eventually they might have to rotate out of this anyway. 
A little bit of a flash bang. He might have flashed himself as well. But again, he's just he's just trying to keep them here while the rest of them are setting up on the B ramp. So the longer we can stay alive, the better it's gonna be. Death is the only one there. Damage he could probably try and get back, but he might be smoked out. You can see the smoke walls landing around that whole ventilation system. Kick it finally goes down, but now could they actually exploit this window in the B-bomb site? You can just look, he's crawling into him, but he's hiding inside of the smoke. I don't think they realize Death is just waiting inside. He's finally going to be found. Perfect timing. Sanji with a big d double end. Cool, have almost been a triple there. He had the right aim for it anyway. Two on two now in the after plant. No pose. Coming up with Sun Payas. That'll smoke off the front of the site on the retake. And Mopos takes down Yakinder. Jame in the 1v2, playing right on the edge of the smoke, but he misses, and Sun Payas doesn't. So Movistar put a seventh on the board, but VP, they break that down so well on the bomb site. Any bit. Rare. Did you drink, did you tea drinker yourself, Maui? Occasionally, occasionally. I, I actually, at the uh, last event I was working, I tried nearly every tea in their kitchen. I went through them just in order, left to right, top to bottom. They had maybe 25 teas. Oh. I tried, I think I got through 18 of them. You got that. Yeah. I like black teas more. Actually kind of a tea expert now. <laughs> yeah, they had herbals, they had black teas. There's one other variety, but either way, I'm definitely more of a, a black tea fan. All right, in it for the taste, you need to, something more than just water, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Need a little body, too. True. Yes. Well, five to three in this one. Haven't found anything with the Deagles. They've tried a couple of different setups here, but nothing has paid out at the moment. And it doesn't look like it will either. It could be an interesting comeback if they could if they could pick this one up. That would be that would be surprising, wouldn't it? Given the way that this got started, if if Movistar ended up winning Vertigo. Absolutely. VP looked so in command in the first half. And Movistar, they're, they're definitely putting together a case for themselves as to why they picked this map. Experiment with it. Whereas yeah. middle is actually probably the most tame portion of this map. Well, yeah, interestingly so. But that's also what makes it kind of fun because it can so easily get overlooked for 10 rounds in a row and then suddenly it, it, it plays a huge part. Oh, kick at that. Looked like it maybe could have been a straight kill. Grenade on top will blow him up. So it works after all. Oh, and look how he peels off. Lopez, he tries to find the equalizer. And Kickert's right there. He's all the way at the bottom of the ramp. Saves you, Kinder. And now, finally, VP. They're in a five on three. They've dropped one of these before, though. We'll see if Jame wants to go for a slightly more standard approach. Last time around, a little too much poking and prodding. This time, you can see that they're already grouping up with their numbers. You're right. Last time, there was no real chance to refrag almost any of the losses they had in the three on five. This time, they should be able to deaths. Did he spot him out? I think he might have, but so did Jame. They definitely knew. And that means that B-bomb that's lost. And Alex and Davi G, I don't even know. They don't have that much money. I don't think throwing away these rifles in a two-on-five is necessarily a good idea. And speaking of that, Kicker is relentless out here. I think that's such a cool idea. It doesn't work out, but just knowing that you've won the round already, looking for that. All right. That is too steep of an angle, I think, but you can shoot through that wall. Yes. Almost. Almost, Shane. You can shoot through a lot of weird walls on this particular map. Yeah, we saw in the beginning of it that people were spamming from the elevator area with an auto sniper into middle. Yeah. That felt overpowered, and I think that's been taken out of it, though. Yeah, you can still do it, on t but just not to the same effect, right? It's, it's, you have to look in a very odd angle. Yeah. Kind of almost straight down. It doesn't really work nearly as well. But yeah, a lot of room for uh, creativity still, I think. But, you see what they have? Oh, that is a missed ramp smoke. And you can see that Davi G is upset about that. That is not going to help their chances in securing the ramp position or in just using their utility the way they want to. Kind of forces them to use it, another nade early on. Yeah, that never feels great. Buster is angling for a kill out here. We're just going to find one immediately. They are a little bit further back. Mopos and Alex, though, are pretty aggressive on that A-ramp, so 
We'll see if that's going to allow them to have a better defense either towards B or middle here. Sanji almost catching a kill there, but realizing there's a lot of people in the middle. Buster is going to take down deaths. And now the question is, can Davidji and Sanpeyas actually get back into the bomb side here without risking too much? Molotov on one side, flashbang on the other side. Hasn't got any kills yet from, be from behind it, but they still 55 seconds. Jame and Sanji hanging out. Mopos is pushing as well. Is he going to find them? He's right there. This could be an absolutely massive play. But how long can he keep it? Going to be hard to get a multi-kill. Knife, certainly do the job. Stabs Jame in the back. And he's now communicating that. He's just running away. Yeah, I feel, wow. He, he gets away with that backstab. Moves away entirely. VP, they have the bomb. And they're just ignoring that. They, they don't seem to be too concerned. Yakinder still has another flash to help his teammate, but no, he shows a little bit too much arm. Sunpayas takes him down, and now VP have to think of another way into this. But they're, the time is running out, and you can see that VP, they're, they're timid now about this situation. They are not too interested in committing, and that play from Mopos was massive. I mean, he gets so much space, he keeps VP on their toes, and at this point, it just feels like they're choked out of the round. It actually looked like they just takes a knee, James. He just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he submits. What a weird way to lose a round. Yeah. Uh, and especially a round that you actually had a lot of control in. Mopo. Oh, yeah. Again, Mopo's at it one more time. Taking down Yukindar of all people. And instead of backing off, he himself is aggressive. He's actually. He's done such a lot of work here. Taking down Sanji next. He wants to get back into this game all the way. He's doing a great job at it. Two kills for him early on mean that VP, once again, are just facing a decision of do they even want to contest for this space because Kicker, he slotted himself at least close on the ramp, but there isn't a lot of support for him. Jame will hold the top left angle, but Bovistar are in a great position to receive this. There's two players already at short for them. Sun Payas right there at the crane. If he drops this molly too, that could be massive. Buster's trying to find something for VP though. And oh, kicker, there's a sound cue for him. Mopos is right there at the bottom of the ramp. That's going to be free. No, he misses the shot. Mopos and Alex recover. Jame only finds the one going for the no scope, but no, Mopos just pushes right into his face. Some missteps coming out here that looked like it could have definitely been at least a kill. And now instead, Buster is just on his own, hoping to save that AK or something like that. It's going to be 10 to 14 here, favoring VP still. Now, we talked about the variety in how to, to sort of attack on this T side of the map. How much is the default on that A ramp? I know it's, it was a bit, it's a bit of a cliche, but I don't think we've seen VP do that too much. I think that was one of the more standard rounds we've gotten for VP. And yeah. if we're talking about just in general how important that space is it's still probably 70 percent of so it's going to be limited james very quick towards middle looks like they just want to go for an early a hit mopos want to mow him down he gets two the ak is already out of this one and yakinder he's retrieved it but the mid push has been received by davi g and once again movistar they're in prime position at the top of this ramp, Kinder tries to find something on the edge of the smoke, but Mopo's right now, he's in the zone, and the ramp is his dominion. Or anyway, but certainly inside of the server. I think it's really impressive. You, you almost wonder if, if it has an expiration date. If you keep being that aggressive, could it back hooks or anything like that? Alex will get a kill this time. Sunpeyas gets one. Huge off angle there, and there's a follow-up, but Sanji with the double kill. Dabby G goes down, and now it's a three-on-three. Bomb is being picked up by Jay while Buster is at least in sight. He has some excellent position right now. Deaths might not be aware that a player could be this close. Seems to have a feeling. Deaths, if he miss missteps, if he goes a little too far forward and tries to reclaim this space, it, it could spell his doom. We see that Movistar on the strong side right now are going for a late ramp pinch but it's inconsequential as the rest of vp are towards b death has given up everything in fact yep might have been real bad if he was actually in flash range there so maybe just setting up and waiting and trying to see if he can get one kill turn it into a two on three it's not such a bad idea 
Still a Molotov there on Alex. He's going to put that out right on top of the bomb zone. So Sanji, oh, he can't even make it out. And the reason why he runs out that long way is because he doesn't want to, you know, if he swings, he's going to be exposed immediately. So he's trying to stay safe, and that got him killed in the end. James holding an angle. He does do a little bit of damage, but that's a flawless retake being brought in here by Movistar. So well done. 12 to 14. I will. Yeah, no fear at all. And that maybe in a more stressful environment, someone like Death would have would have wanted to fight before his teammates get there. Like, oh, let me just try and see if I can get a kill. It'd be really good if I could. Yeah, but if you die, probably lose that round. So, yes. gotta appreciate that. Not an easy choice to make. Davi G falling back. Molotov to keep them. Or maybe they would have been crunched in the bomb site. And now VP kind of realizing, yeah, we're not we're not really getting the traction here in the middle that we want. And and there's not a lot to show for it. Movistar burn nearly every Molotov and all but one of their smokes. And, and the retakes that we were just praising, it's going to be a lot harder now. So if VP find a way onto A, then, then it's going to be a real test for Movistar. And you can see Movistar, they don't even want to test that. Flashing it forward, Alex gets one. Now Movistar have a lot of information. They know. VP still have some time. Mopos, though, always with the aggression. And this time, James there to receive it. Going to be taking him down. Pretty good angle to be held. Sub 40 seconds, which is on this map a lot of time. Maybe on a different one, you'd be worried, but they're already at the A ramp. Death, though, he's in the right position. So is Sonpeas. Going to be a flashbang to set up a bit of a peek there. No, not just going to peek. It looked like he would. Davi G goes down, and that puts pressure on the bomb site. They know they're going to get shot in the back. They can still technically win it, but oh. not any. Yeah, similar thing. <laughs> not going to give up until you're all the way dead. 15 to 12. Three rounds. Maui, do you think you can do it to get into overtime? Let's see. This is going to be a big fight right here. Is alone. Oh, he's actually oh, run what? past them. Mopus is right there next to him. They just, they didn't even realize. Wow. You don't see that every day. <laughs> they just, they pass each other in the smoke, then yeah. they slip back. Not even realizing. Nice flash to find some information, but Death's not confident in sticking around. I was going to say, that's the, when someone sets up a flashbang like that, if you don't see anyone immediately and you think, let me, let me just check a little bit further, that could be such a horrible mistake. <laughs> like, yes. You should just do the thing that you were... Ooh. Just solve that one problem that you were trying to solve with the flashbang and not anything else. Oh, are they going to recognize that there's a player close right? Smoke actually blocks Kickert's approach. That's a free one for Alex. You see Kickert spinning to his death. James actually getting really close. Does, yeah. does James have heat-seeking bullets? He, could be. Oh, wow. So scary. They must have heard that. In the meantime, over at this B bomb side, Death and Tavi G are both here. And Death has been playing really well in some of these moments, so maybe he could do it again. Taking down Buster. They're going to find Alex and opening up the middle. That kill for your kinder is massive. It weakens every single position that they have on the CT side. But now the bomb is on the ground with only 13 seconds left. Oh no, what a nightmare. This might actually come back to haunt them. It definitely will now. They get anywhere. They can't get to a bomb site. That one kill made all the difference, and it will be a 13th round for Movistar. Team play and individuals doing just what they're supposed to. It's what you love to see in a good competitive game of CS, and it's going to continue here. Nate on forward. There are three players at B for Movistar right now. They're really making this a point of emphasis for themselves. And if VP can tear down this three-man setup, the game, the map, it'll be over. Huge setup right here. Alex win that fight early on, taking down Buster, even though he did drop very low on health. They're just continuing the pressure, actually. Deep nades coming in. Alex is so lucky to be alive, but your kinder with the knife out. Couldn't switch in time. He's going to be going down. That is a bold play for Alex. Movistar, once again, just making these red HP push plays, and it's finding them so much value. VP getting caught off guard in consecutive rounds. And Sun Payas, I mean, he's getting some aggressive position towards middle. Sanji, though, could read this, but the flash isn't effective. And Sanji 
Gives up the angle. About 40 seconds. Ooh. Seems like they just... They're a little bit unsure themselves, VP. They might be... They just they want to save. They might just... Do you really save for 40 seconds? That's such a long time. Yeah, I think I think that's it for them. Wow. They're, they're out of it. All right. They're tapping out of round 29. I guess looking at the economy, it, it's actually not such a crazy play. They just want to avoid the overtime. Yeah. Yeah. The Ukinder will be able to buy in the next round. Buster will have a, a slightly hamstrung purchase for himself. But... Actually, with 3,400 loss bonus, actually, his, his buy is not even that bad, to be to be honest. All right. Time is going to expire. It will be a 14th round. For well, let's see if they could do it. Either overtime or it's going to be VP just stealing around away at the very end. Flashes out. The timing shot did not connect there on the AWP. So, some pairs. Still going to be a round. And they have a very, very default setup with one, one person holding middle and Davy G. So flash on forward. Buster expects the jump up, but it's not there. Movistar just pump faking that one. And VP, they're making their way up the ramp. Oh, right between the sandbags. Kicker finds the opener. Now Alex is on an island and he decides to back on up. He doesn't want to take a free 1v1 to advantage. That's a miss nade, actually. Could have done some major damage. But the Molly is right there in front of Kicker. He's burning alive, in fact. Takes a, quite a bit of damage, but he still holds on to Shin. And they're gonna leave Kicker here again. I think they've done this once before, trying to set up for some sort of attack on the B-bomb side. Death is on his own one more time, and he's gonna be put to a massive test here. Grenades raining down left and right, and he goes for a spray, nearly lining up what could have been a double. He still did a lot of damage, but they just needed that one kill. Unlike earlier where he could stay alive, this time they actually find him. And now the bomb is going to be planted. James drops to Sun Paeus. And it's a three on three. Kicker is now walking in to the middle of the map. So he could go for a bit of a flank in the meantime. There's a lot of damage. Dabby G not loving that. Alex though, on a flank of his own, Sun Paeus goes down. It's just impossible to tell who's flanking who at this point in time. Davy G goes down, and I think that is the end of the line now for Movie Star. They're in a lot.